It's a pinch because we have a whole bunch of new people. I got to do this again. So basically how this works, this is a recap of all the things that are done for people who like to study or listen to or fall asleep to the audios because they end up being longer. So they actually are the same videos that you would have support. So every time you do the whole, is this a repost thing? Technically it is, yes, but it's not for you. It's for the people who like to study. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do this every 10 videos, but who cares? If anything, I'm just going to make these more ridiculously longer until you get absolutely annoying and you're just going to want to skip over the part. Compilation. Okay, bye. Hey, psst, dude, 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 dude. Ye? Yeah. Make me into a plushie. What? Turn me into a tiny, big-eyed, squishy bean plushie, you bitch. Hey. Heck yeah! Remember when Rebecca Sugar was the character in Sailor Moon who worked as an animator? She herself is an anime reference. Writing prompt. You pick up a small device. On a small screen, it simply says, one skill point remaining, and a list of eight attributes. You click on strength and instantly feel your muscles stiffen a little. The screen now says, level up to gain more skill points. Jump cut to me in a shady alley armed with a tennis racket swinging at rats with wild abandon. Behold the vegan swimming pool. I love that this implies water isn't vegan. Well, from what we heard last episode, time's not. Y'all about to eat these friend flies with a side of cat syrup. Mmm, bone altitude called me Chef Balti. These memes have reached a state of esotericism that will render them indecipherable to anyone in a few years. I won't let anyone forget that Chris Hemsworth was in a show about tween girls riding horses and learning the true meaning of friendship. You can never leave the Saddle Club, Chris. Never. When I get married, I want to get or make a sign that says, Welcome to the Bone Zone! With skeletons on it and all that jazz. So every time the Spoos and I... The Spoos... So every time the Spoos and I are in a funky mood, I can say, To the Bone Zone! And cackle as I do a stupid dance to our room. Whoever you marry is going to be a lucky son of a gun. Y'all, Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, was only eight months ago! It's no time at all! I really thought it was like two years ago. Like if a child was conceived on the day they stormed Area 51, it probably wouldn't even be born yet. These past five years have been the longest century of my life. If that is not the epitome of hyperbole, I don't know what is. Free kitten, a bit fat, but otherwise lovely and very talented, Bel Air. I was looking for free furniture, but maybe that's not what I was meant to find. Yeah, I'm willing to get stabbed on Craigslist for this fat baby. Oh, I'm jail of Harry. His British accent is so cute. Wait, that red thing is called Harry? Oi, mate, that red thing is a member of the royal family. You're all beautiful in your own special way. Yes, we are. Except for you. Yes, you're right. I'm beautiful for normal reasons. I want more overgrown ruins to explore, and if I have to make them myself, then so be it. This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. <gasps> They're doing the Lord's work. Sure, Cats 2019 is an abomination unto the Lord and should have never existed. But I don't think any of you were prepared for the absolute hell that would have been unleashed on us all if it had been good. There would have been cat sonas. There would have been so much not safe for work cats fan art. A dangerous rift in the veil between furries and non-furries would have been created with no way to seal it again. There would have been new and terrible kinds of discourse we've never seen before, and now mercifully never will. This was for the best. Oh yeah, and apparently I didn't sound like salad fingers to some baby 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 people, so uh... We're gonna do this properly, I guess, with this goat pose before I go do any further, cause god... You ever meet someone who's just asking to be struck down by the gods? Stop citing croc it's 2020, that's so fucking lazy. Obsessed with the ideal of angels seeing the first human death. <laughs> What's wrong with this one? It's just so fucking funny. Like, angels see a human die for the first time and be like, that's wow, yo. What you do after this? You joke, but I 100% headcanon angels poking a human corpse with a stick like, Revive, damn it, I want to see what happens next. Get up, you little shit, you've got a character arc to finish. Hey, Mom said it's my turn to hand out the ominous and vague warnings. That wasn't Mom. I have a tiny mouth, and I'm a scream. <gasps> this video is brought to you by this baby. Go get one. Dirt. Mmm, tasty.
Uh, the D in dirt stands for do not eat this, please. But the IRT stands for it's really tasty. Hey, babe, proceeds to let out wasps. Pucky, are you okay? Can I be okay and also give my babe a spontaneous or romantic gift? Society peeked at the iPod Nano. Why is this right? Seven million people in the Earth. Zero messages in my inbox. Seven million? In the Earth? Free them. Writing prompt. You're suddenly able to see numbers above people's heads which are counting down and you have no idea why. One person you meet reaches zero and... And you a ravioli from their back pocket. The numbers. It's a ravioli countdown. You are the ravioli receiver. But do I really want pocket ravioli? Yes, you do. You know what strength is? Forgiving a person who wasn't even sorry. Not to be dramatic, but I would literally rather die. Strength is when you help your mom lift a heavy couch and she buys you McDonald's after. Yeah! A comparison of a male Pac-Man frog left and a female right. Or perhaps a bowl of spaghetti hoops with guacamole. Madam Spaghetti. We drink boba tea to satisfy our H and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do not! If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. My, f my feet are cold. Milky Way, supermassive black hole, seems to be getting hungrier and scientific. Let him eat! This actually worries me a little. Why? Are you the black hole? That's neither here or there. When you feel your clothes fresh out of the oven. Okay, I just realized they used oven instead of dishwasher, but I kind of forgot what it was called and used the next best guess I could think of. Called a washing machine. I think it's a dryer, like who would be feeling wet ass clothes? God, this post is a fucking train wreck. This woman, Wanda Vatum, was an actress who appeared in three classic Who episodes. She also happens to be the mother of Benedict Cumberbatch. All hail the mother batch, creator of our Cumberlord. Don't ever call Cumberlord again. See, if you're charming and intriguing and have good negotiation skills, you can, in fact, keep your soul while bargaining with some sort of centuries-old entity, demonic or otherwise. What even prompted this, you ask? I went to a car dealership. This randomly landed on our porch last night after a storm. This is an omen. Oh god, 4chan rises. Bro, is the PlayStation 5 coming out soon or something? Give him time. He would have to come out to a lot of people. Maybe not everyone would accept him for who he is. Wait, what kind of come out? LET CASHIERS HAVE CHAIRS! Cashiers don't have chairs where you live? What the fuck? In America, if you're not standing, you're not working. In Europe, you're working while you're working. Chairs help you. What the fuck is up with America? Hold up! People in other countries get to see while working! America needs help. I love cultural realizations like this. It surprised me so much when I went to Europe and cashiers were sitting. If you turn to your left, you see the emos. Is that my chemical romance? Oh my god, not every group of emos is my chemical romance. Shut the fuck up, Tumblr. Okay, but it actually is My Chemical Romance. <laughs> this is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Guys, I have a great idea. Behold, a platypus bear? Nah, bury the platypus bear! I still think one of the funniest things about Mario Sunshine is when Bowser Jr. calls Peach's mom, and she doesn't go full denial. It's like, oh shit, maybe, sort of look. Like, Peach, my girl. Wouldn't you remember giving birth to a giant dragon egg? Old West Saloon owner. Make it so the floorboard don't creak when regular patrons walk in, but do creak when a mysterious stranger walks in. What? What if you intentionally put in one squeaky floorboard and tell your regulars that if they squeak it, their first drink costs 10% extra? Then only new people who don't know the rule will step on it, and familiars will avoid it. Did, did you just write an algorithm for human behavior? Because that is exactly what I would expect from a robot appreciation tumbler. Very important reminder, don't forget! The contents of this reminder have been erased. That's just ADHD in a nutshell. I forgot I made this post, so I'm pretty sure this was the mood. Why do I toilet paper the wrong way? Behold. Well, that's valid. Okay, I'll accept that. But you're on thin ice. What I love about Spy Kids is they're not spying on anyone, and absolutely no one cares. Spy is basically a D&D class in the Spy Kids cinematic universe. There's zero espionage. The word spy just refers to a collection of proficiency modifiers. Uh, is that right? Concept. All normal checkouts are replaced with self-checkouts. But instead of losing their jobs, the cashiers now get to sit on top of lifeguard chairs and periodically throw wine glasses at me like Dracula while I buy my goods. What is a customer? A miserable little pile of coupons. But enough talk, Karen! Have at you! Benson, coach. How are your legs feeling after that workout? <sighs> Sore. Good. Make your thighs big as Mother Russia. 
You know what they say about women with big thighs, yes? Can crush her between legs like watermelon? You and I, we have very different fantasies. Speaking of which, bam! Wait, she's looking thick? Always has been. Ah, oh, wishing I was on a balcony in Italy, wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Wish I was the Hulk. I wish I was the Hulk on balcony in Italy, wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Why do people always get so weird about wheelchair users? I'm literally just a person sitting down. You're sitting down and moving at the same time, like some kind of witch! Plankton built his computer wife, so he's also the one who programmed her personality. Plankton made a wife who would belittle and mock him. Plankton has a humiliation fetish. Sometimes we have thoughts, but we don't have to share them with everyone and put them out into the world. Just a suggestion. But they write. If you're reading this, it's too late. I already sent the good vibes your way. They're coming. There's nothing you can do to stop them. This is the most threatening way I've ever been cheered up. A possum broke into an Australian bakery and ate so many pastries it couldn't move. This is how they found him. I live for this post. Ugh, do what you must. Cry, I've already won. Today I learned there are three types of fun. Type 1 fun is enjoyable while it's happening. Type 2 fun is miserable while it's happening, but fun in retrospect. Type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even in retrospect. How the fuck is activity that's no fun during or after considered a type of fun? Okay, you know how a lot of people play a game called League of Legends? Mort Evil Incarnate, Madagascar, Mort's Incredibly Disturbing Secrets Exposed, Part 1 Theory. There are three other parts of this, and it adds up to almost two hours of dissecting whatever these cartoon rat sins are. Never mind, this rat is genuinely fucked up. <laughs> Can't stop. There's a horde of trepidant, a beard, and this pseudo just blended itself in and with it. It's literally hiding with other trees. Hello, fellow plantites. Yes, my goodness, what a nice day to photosynthesize these. How about them chloroplasts? I do love me some chlorophyll. Mm, what a great time to have cell wall, yes. Because of reasons is always a legitimate reason. Because fuck you, that's why, is also acceptable. For science is a good excuse. Don't forget, the stars are not in position as a perfect reason to not do something. Not since the accident can be the answer to any question. And you guys are leaving out think of the children as a way to persuade anybody to do something for you. Peter Dinklage and Jason Momoa to star in a vampire con movie, The Good, Bad, and Undead. Dinklage will play a famed vampire hunter, Van Helsing, while Momoa plays a vampire who's promised never to kill again. And the two run a scam where Van Helsing makes money by pretending to defeat Momo's character. Is... is this just not the plot of Shark Tale? It is! And I'm living for it! All of my characters are idiots. I cannot change this. They say write what you know, and I know nothing. Redemption arc this and redemption arc that. Where's an arc where the hero gets morally corrupted by a villain and switches sides and becomes an even bigger threat as a result? WHERE IS MY BASTARDIZATION ARC?! Oh my god. NEGATIVE CHARACTER DEVELOPMENT- WHAT?! Oh, well that was a fun day of doing videos, I guess now I can- Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! How did you get in here?! Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one- OH GOD! Plague doctors, but instead of having a wooden stick to examine patients and defend themselves, they use one of these bad boys. Oh, sticky with your time, yes. We strive to be an actual Tumblr that shows up in PMZ Moore's videos in r slash Tumblr, but the fact that we're always on Discord doesn't help. I'm guilty because I get these from the Discord server. Inflatable toast mattress. Does it come with butter pillows? Okay, is anyone reading the description? Allow me. Breakfast in bed? No, breakfast is the bed. Sleeping on this giant six by seven inflatable toast mattress is likely to make you dream that you are a pad of butter and you are floating down a river of freshly brewed coffee. In reality, you should not use the inflatable toast mattress as a flotation device, nor should you expose it to excessive heat. This piece of toast is made of plastic, not bread. So if you wake up and smell burning toast, you are probably just having a stroke. 169.95, add one to the cart now, do it. Some creepy pasta from 2011. And the cartoon man had hyper-realistic eyes, and everything was red! Me at age 12. Ah! 
walks into the toy aisle. Hey, Barbara. Barbie. I told you not to call me that. Michael Minerva, how have you been? Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We talked about this. Well, I was today years old when I realized Minnie was a nickname for Minerva. Notice, due to the lack of cicadas so far this summer, I will climb the trees and scream in their absence. You really think you could replace them? You really think he would sound half as good? How dare you stand where he once stood? Imagine your OC. Just imagine. <laughs> Beautiful. So is it a thing in American English to use Texas as a word for, like, something that's out of control or chaotic or, like, is crazy? Like, that party last weekend was totally Texas. Because that is a thing people say in Norwegian, and I think it's important for Americans to know that. This is the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, what? This is the Texiest shit I've ever heard. Exports you as a JPEG and turns the quality way down. Help, help, I'm being compressed. No matter how much you plan and plot and research and prepare, you will never actually feel ready. You might as well just jump right in and do the thing. Upon reading this, I feel like I should specify I was talking about writing and not murder. Me, anytime a sex scene takes place in a show or movie. Ugh, this is literally the most unnecessary thing, can we not? Fuck this, I want swords, this is boring shit! Oh baby, just wait till I start wreaking havoc in this Trader Joe's. Gonna wreak so much havoc, cause some drama in the pasta aisle. I don't know, punch a cantaloupe maybe, for being a bitch. Every culture has their ethnic donut, and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough. Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is that they got, and they make that into a sword. Coincidence? I think not. Ah, the two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food and danger murder sticks. I'm not a hippie. I'm a vegetarian human rights activist taking step towards being 100% environmentally friendly. Oh. This is like that one post where someone said they weren't entitled and then described themselves as entitled. Except the opposite. Imagine if trees gave off Wi-Fi signals. We would be planting so many trees and we would probably save the planet too. Too bad they only produce the oxygen we breathe. My dearest beloved fuckos, is a fun, gender-neutral way to begin a speech. See also, esteemed bastards, gentlefolk, ferals, domesticated cryptids, and my fellow yees and haws, wife is purging in an ant due any day. Suddenly, the contractions start. Can't, won't, I'm, haven't, don't, isn't, she says. Doc, it appears the contractions are worsening, the nurse says. In between breaths, the wife gasps and screeches, Y'all did <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. Don't call him that. Leonardo da Vinci. In this world, it's milk or be milked. It's really not. Don't. Flanos? Flanos. Oh, Flanos. I hate it. Had to label the old trash barrels so the collectors would know how to take them. And so the trash barrels became trash themselves. Take us away, boys! This should be the last post on Tumblr before it's shut down. Take us away, boy! Okay, I just need my coffee and we'll get to see if you destroyed it. There's nothing <laughs> sacred to you anymore! Yes, I am a grill. And yes, I play games. Wow, another one of those gamer grills. They're just doing it for the attention. The Nintendo isn't even turned on! We're going back to the normal good voice. I can't do the, the salad one anymore. Do you ever get so excited you just want to crush a human skull in your hands? You just described breathing? I'm fairly certain I did not. This reminds me of how I just put the noodles in the pot immediately rather than wait for the water to boil. Masso, why does your wording make it sound like you're trying to start discourse on the validity of your cooking methods? I seek knowledge and the best findings are made out of desperation to escape the brimstone, not from the comfort in a loving community you seek to uphold. Yo, Socrates, it's soup. Ugh, moldy lemon. They've been lying to us. Shane, it's too early for this. It's never too early to expose dangerous business practices. Booty shorts that say Chick-fil-A wants to be dead. Wouldn't it be shorter to say gay? It's not about efficiency, it's about sending a message. Yeet. Hungry man, hungry woman, 
Hungry Waffle? Ah, yes. The three genders. They said it couldn't be done. Venn Pyogram. This is the most important visual pun to have ever been posted on the internet. What is happening? Pytosis is happening. It's really August, huh? Like, eight whole months have passed. Disgusting. This post was written in 2018, but it hits a lot harder now. I hate being high. Why do I keep hearing footsteps? Are you walking? Oh, shit. Anyone want to get in an argument with me? Okay, cream cheese isn't that good. I was kidding, but you know what? Fuck you for real. You'll understand when you're older. I am older, and I understand absolutely nothing. In fact, I actually understand less. Is there anything better than kissing a cat's soft belly? Kissing a sleeping cat's soft little forehead and hearing them go, Brrr. Oh my god, you're so right! I wish I had an even more vague void than the internet to scream into. An abandoned Kmart parking lot just before dawn? Jesus, I didn't say a whole different dimension. Pros of wearing a lab coat. Look like cool science person or maybe smart doctor. Pockets. Long allows for cool whoosh when walking with unbuttoned. And feel like important. Cons of wearing a lab coat. Getting harassed by a platypus. Hmm, the minute you see anything described as or includes misadventures in the title, you know that shit's gonna be annoying, unfunny, or stupid as shit. Oh, 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 Flapjack. I'm so fucking sorry. Listen. I'm not the biggest fan of kids. But if a kid looks at me, then you bet I'm gonna smile back at them. Kids deserve to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore, okay? But the world is not kind or safe. Then fucking do your part to make it that way. Yeah, yeah. Every time I see myself in the mirror, I get distracted. I'll be walking down the street and see myself in the reflection of a department store window, and then I'm gone. Narcissus wrote this. Today I learned that if Johnny Depp's filming schedule didn't allow him to be in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Dwayne The Rock Johnson would have played Willy Wonka. Who wants some fucking chocolate? Yes, oh my god, give 